national scientists present, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, Secretary Cal Kendrick Chua, esteemed colleagues in the academy, BOST officials and personnel, other government officials and fellow workers in government, friends from the media, participants from the science community, guests, ladies and gentlemen. A pleasant morning to all of you. Magandang umaga. On behalf of the Academy, I am pleased to welcome all of you to the grand launching of Pagtanao 2050, the Philippine Science, Technology and Innovation foresight. Today, we reach a milestone for our country in the Filipino science and technology community as we launch the Philippines' first foresight document on science, technology, and innovation for the next 30 years. We now have in our hands the power to give hope and inspire integration and harmony in our archipelagic nation with this visionary tool towards the achievement of our national and global societal goals on or before 2050. Octanao 2050 is the product of the collective wisdom of the Academy and the science co community cognizant of the Filipino people whose lives inspired us and whose expectations guided us. It is with great honor, therefore, that the National Academy of the Philippines and the Department of Science and Technology that we launch Pagtanao 2050. A result of the first interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary project on the Philippine focused science, technology, and innovation foresight and a 30 year long term strategic planning. The Pagtanao can serve as a source of vital inputs to short term, meaning three to four years strategic planning and policy advice the process of attaining a preferred and united future, considering our natural endowments and national aspirations. It is timely that we launch the Philippine STI foresight in between the Luzon and Mindanao regional scientific meetings with the theme of the now 2050 science for a sustainable future. The development of a globally competitive Philippine knowledge economy with the maritime base will enable the Philippines to finally break out of its stagnation behind more scientifically advanced nations, allowing it to grow from a mere service economy into a sustainable, united, and inclusive economy as our archipelagic nation was always meant to be. The foresight document is the SNT sector's cornerstone contribution towards attaining the aspirations and goals embodied in our constitution and those provided by global and national frameworks such as the UN Sustainable Development Goals and Ambition, not in 2040. The Academy has always firmly recognized that plans and decisions on the growth and development of the Filipino people and Philippine society should be based on evidence and logical analysis. And this foresight is a big solid step to forward our vision for progressive Philippines anchored in science. Now 2050 is a big step towards designing and implementing integrated yet time-specific strategies for a prosperous, inclusive, and agile Philippine future. With this, and on behalf of the Academy, I would like to thank the Honorable DOSC Secretary, Secretary Fortunato de la Peña, for initiating the idea of having our own foresight and entrusting this endeavor to the Academy. We, now, we know from the beginning that this would not be an easy task to accomplish. But with your support and leadership, together with the other DOST officials, we were able to finish the Philippine SCI foresight document. As project lead, I would like to extend our gratitude to the SCI foresight steering committee, 
chaired by former DOSC Secretary Academician William Padolina and the following members, National Scientist Ernesto Domingo, National Scientist Emil Lavier, National Scientist Raul Fabella, former DOST Secretary Estrella Alapaso, former DOST Secretary Filamon Riarte Jr., and Academician Reginaldo Bea. The members of the Executive Committee of NAST, Vice President Academician Fabiana Dairit, Academician Jaime Montoya, Academician Euphemio Rasco, and Academician Aura Mechas. The Academy members and corresponding members, the members of the Outstanding Young Scientists Incorporated, our expert resource speakers and facilitators, representatives from the government agencies, higher education institutions, non-government organizations, the editors of Pagdanao, our invited partners in developing this foresight, our secretariat headed by our director, uh, Ms. Lunini Samarita Domingo, your invaluable contributions to this project and participation in our consultative activities have been instrumental in overcoming the technical constraints brought by the pandemic in the making of this foresight. It is the conclusion of NAST Philippines and the recommendation of this foresight that our aspirations can be achieved by acknowledging and enhancing our existence as a prosperous archipelagic maritime nation by diplomatically asserting our rights over the resources in our marine environment. Thank you everyone for sharing your time with us. I look forward to seeing the fruits of our foresighting initiative and materializing our shared vision of the Philippines as a prosperous, archipelagic maritime nation.